It is true, we are living through a watershed moment, a turning point in our personal lives and for our world community. There are critical concerns we need to address as individuals, as a nation, and as humans sharing one planet. My goal with Spread Goodness is not to deny what's true and scary in our world, but possibly offset some of the negativity we consume on a daily basis by showcasing what is good in our world. There's a lot of it. Perhaps it will replenish us, remind us who we are at the core of being human. What a miracle it is to be here on this planet at this moment in time, and possibly inspire us to do what we can to make our world a better place. This is Spread Goodness TV. All right, so um, I am here with... Uh, Gabriel Rivera. Aaron Maloney, nice to meet you. And um, we're here on 4th of July, and I'm just curious, what does Independence Day, 4th of July, mean to you? <laughs> um, there's a lot of things going on in the world, but I am really hopeful that my country can change where it's at right now. Um, and I'm really, really hopeful for like our future. And I really, really enjoy living most of the time in a country, but mostly a state that I really, really love and a place that I really, really love. Mm -hmm. And it gives me like a lot of good, good energy and like good spaces. And I really, really love living in California and that's part of the country. So I hope the rest mm -hmm. of the country gets on board with Santa Barbara <laughs> and California. Mm -hmm. Good place to start. So what does the 4th of July mean to me? Yeah. What are um, we celebrating today? Well, yeah. um, as a person of color with indigenous descent, mm -hmm. um, I could go into, you know, the negatives and, and whatnot. You could but, feel free to whatever feels you know, right but I don't, today. Eh, yeah. I don't really want to. Fair enough. And to spread, in the spirit of spreading goodness, um, I think it's important to look beyond uh, your own personal vendettas and um, traumas, generational trauma that you may have, um, and also embrace it. I'm not definitely speak up and about a lot of things, um, but in the spirit of spreading goodness, I will just say that um, I've been stoked to see people. Everyone's just happy. Everyone is smiling. I'm saying happy Fourth of July, which it's, it is what it is, but. Um, for me personally, it's it's a moment to just look beyond whatever personal feelings I might have about something and patriotic. You know, what, I'm not the most patriotic person, but that's okay. And I'm just it's just nice to see people happy. I mean, everyone's smiling. It's a beautiful day, and yeah, that's kind of what it is to me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank I you. Think that covers. And thank you, and thank you yeah. for spreading goodness. That's that's something that I know she and I both. Yeah. We don't know each other very well, yeah. but I know that that's what she does, and that's yeah. I try to do that every day. And it sounds like that might, yeah, that's, yeah. that brings you guys. Yeah. It's a good vibe, though. Absolutely. That brings yeah. you we just guys came together. from sushi, and so that's nice. always good. that's always goodness. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta we gotta know what we love because we gotta yeah. get our vibes up. Is my whole philosophy, yeah. and then Absolutely. once we have our vibes up, then we can do so much more. Yeah. yeah. You guys said that you both spread goodness. What can you think of an example of what that looks like for you guys in your in your lives? Yeah. So I'm a behavioral therapist okay. and so I try and help people be more positive and like I use positive reinforcement to make people have more positivity in their lives and um, as a behavioral therapist a lot of the things that we work on is improving behavioral things by having positive reinforcement instead of negative reinforcement and so I want to make the world better by being more positive in the way that I enforce people having good behavior. Yeah. Um, it's funny that you said, uh, asked that question because we were just talking about a particular topic and I was mentioning I went to a school a while back uh, for 
<clears throat> tracking and wilderness survival skills, but it's called the Tracker School. I'm way into tracking. The motto of the school that I try to live by and I was taught was that may others feel safer knowing that you are there. So I try to embody that and I try to protect and help as much as I can, uh, no matter the circumstances, even to my own detriment. Hmm. It doesn't matter. So, and I feel uh, <laughs> faith is a, is, a, is, a, is a hard thing, but I'm trying to keep it and yeah. trying to think positive that people are inherently good for the most part, rather than expect the worst out of people. So, and you mentioned that there's a lot, there's a lot of mixed feelings about the day because there's a lot going on in the world, yeah. and especially in our nation, in our, country. <clears throat> in our country. And it sounds like you're also very hopeful. So, what's one thing that we can do to move in the direction of good as a nation? <laughs> I know that's a that's a that's a big one. It's a lot, um, and it's all on you. <laughs> it's all me. It's my job. Um, so I think, I think not taking things as hard. I think understanding that there are a lot of things at work beyond your person, mm -hmm. and not taking it like it's just you. Like there's a billion for it. Like. There's a lot of money in the world that's going against things that we like as a as a people believe. And I think understanding that there are certain things that we can't like individually do but as a group can fight against. Mm -hmm. And like I I think like as a woman in the situation that we're dealing with in America I'm really grateful to live in a state that will always protect me and I wish that the rest of the country lived in a state that will always protect them. And I know a lot of people that are taking this very personally and very, very hard and understanding that like individually there's nothing that people can do but as a group there's a lot that can be done and like as a country there's a lot that we can do in like as a group, if we come together, if we put differences aside, and if we like spread positive messages, I think there's a lot of things that can be done to bring us together. You know, Shed what, what absolutely, us absolutely, and work together on what unites us. Uh, absolutely, and I also think that um, not like lecturing different generations, lecturing other generations. I think gaining generational awareness and like helping them learn. I think a lot of the time younger generations were really aware of everything going on and we have a tendency to like jump down people's throat and lecture older people and they're just not on board yet and if you lecture at somebody it puts people in like a defensive situation and if we can take a moment, take a breath and be like hey even though we have like 30 year difference here are things that we have in common and here are ways that we can move forward and that you can learn and I can learn I think I think there's a lot of learning that needs to be had right now I agree learning and listening yes absolutely yeah. I spent a lot of time in my late teens on, uh, as an activist traveling around from protest to protest and big groups going to World Trade Organization protests FTAA protests police brutality protests um, every protest I get my hands on because I was just passionate and wanted to yeah. fight um, for a lot of different causes and um, I learned a lot along the way and I also um, got jaded and yeah. at a certain point realized for myself personally that <clears throat> the change that I wished to affect first of all had to come from me first mm -hmm. because just like in any situation or relationship whether you're a friend a lover a parent whatever it is like if you're not right with yourself yeah. you can't be right for whatever situation that you're in and also um really the really the small things really do matter helping somebody who uh, is at the end of their rope whether you know mentally and psycho emotionally psychologically yeah. um, taking the time to stop and talk to somebody and just looking in someone's eyes and be like no someone cares yeah. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. it, it's all it's always the <clears throat> some sometimes it's the least person the least 
expected person that's going to be there yeah. and help you and cause uh, a change and make an effect to get you back on track or make you feel supported or change your viewpoints on something. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at personally with the whole, with affecting change. It's just, yes, we need group activism, we need big yeah. movements, we need all of these things, but we also need the day-to-day -day small little things because mm -hmm. it's the little things, mm -hmm. right? Like, so. Right. This is really great, you guys. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And what are your names? Um, my name is Brooklyn Eagle. Nice to meet you. My name is Kylo. Kylo? My name is Oliver. Oliver? And my name is Eric Eagolf. Nice to meet you. Thanks nice for having to us. Thank you. Thank you for stopping. Um, so, what are we celebrating today? Um, Independence Day. And what does that mean to you? Um, having freedom, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Skip. Skip. Skip, okay. What does freedom mean to you? Well, to me, freedom means being willing to sacrifice for stuff you believe and decisions you believe you have the right to have okay. in this world. And it means different things to different people. But sacrifice is always there. Hey, okay. Gonna you were going to say uh, that? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I said. Said it. Okay. All right. Took the words right out of his mouth. <laughs> What would you say are some of the um, the major challenges that we face today as a nation? Just listening to the other side and hearing their point of view. And just listen to why other people are so upset and uh, understand and not point fingers at them. And that usually solves most issues. You want to say I love everyone? Love everyone. There you go. <laughs> you know I'm right here too. Oh yeah. What skip. <laughs> he just wants the freedom. Yeah, that's freedom to, to skip. skip. Totally. Yeah, freedom of non-speech, right? <laughs> and um, what are you doing to celebrate today? Well, my wife is down dancing at the stage, and so we went to have some food here, and now we're going back to watch her perform. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. And watch the fireworks. Oh, and watch the fireworks. And oh, she's also performing down there if you want to see her. Oh, nice. She what are you going to perform? Uh, a dance. Very cool. And um, did you by any chance see what was on the news from this morning? Something about a shooting in Illinois? Yeah, that was yeah. my hometown. Super any... sad. Super sad, my, yeah, we were, we saw it and just, oh my God, what's going on that someone would do that. Yeah, yeah. but you're out today, you're we're enjoying. Out, we're out today, we're yeah. trying to enjoy and take take advantage of our freedom. Good, good, thank you so much. Yeah, well, thank I appreciate you. you and this is the platform I've been building. Daddy, look at this. Spread yeah. goodness, that love. Daddy, look oh, that's at this. awesome, you know what I do every morning? What do you do? You wanna know? Yes. Every morning I wake up and say, today something awesome's gonna happen, and then I have three things I'm supposed to be thankful for. Are you rolling? Yeah. <laughs> what yep. do you do every day? I wake up and say, today is gonna, something awesome's gonna happen, and then you look for it, and then I say three things that I'm thankful for that can't be the same as the day before. Love that. Yeah, can't be the same ever. Right, yep. I love that. Isn't that cool? So, yes, it's very it's cool. From a book I read, yeah. Oh, what book? Um, you know? what is, yeah, it is like, um, Thank and Grow Rich. Pam Grout. Pam Grout. Thank and grow. Thank grow. Pam Grout. Yeah. I'm aware of that yeah, one. Yeah, she's, she's good. Yeah, very cool. It matters, right? Yeah. Because if we're aware of the good stuff, then um, we can create more good, I believe. Absolutely. That's yeah. the whole thing. Very spreads cool. Like a, yeah, it spreads really easily. So. Thank, thank you, you so much. Hey there, how are you? I'm doing great. Another beautiful day. Uh, it's a great day to be American right here. All right. Tell me, tell me what are we celebrating today? freedom right here. A lot of people don't understand uh, what it takes to be free and I think I'm one of the few. Tell me more. I'll tell you more? Okay. Uh, for First and foremost, no other country is able to speak free and what I say is they cannot cuss out their president, they can't say what they love and I'm very grateful for this country okay. and what we stand for and what we've came from and I'm happy to be here, baby. All right, we're happy. American, American, dude. Everybody should be happy. I don't understand the controversy. Okay, what do you think the controversy might be? The controversy might be, I mean, a lot of people want to come down to like racism or stuff like that, but uh, everybody has their flaws. And at the end of the day, I think we should be grateful for what, for what we have because this country stands for, uh, freedom. Everybody is an immigrant. Everybody is welcomed here and everybody can make a path. Everybody could become successful here 
and I'm so fortunate for that because so many places they're born into you know lower income and they have no other path to come from yeah. and here we can become great we can become create a path for our future that is to come and I'm happy Very cool. and I'm grateful and thank you and you're alluding you're alluding to some divisiveness that we have in our country right of course over here yeah we have our problems but we got to talk about you know what how great we have it we're moving forward we're creating you know a great path okay we have our problems but you know we're working on it and we're, we're great honestly and I really appreciate hearing all this perspective and I'm wondering like um, you said that we're moving forward what are some ways that what do you feel like are some solutions to bring us together and move forward I think I think honestly I think we are super inclusive and I think uh, Samuel Jackson said it the best if you want to get rid of you know, uh, the vice knit or the vision, you know, you want to get rid of like the stereotype of uh, not being included in like racism and stuff is to stop talking about it. We don't have it. Look at your neighbors. All of us get along. We all get along. You don't ever look at your neighbor and, you know, it doesn't matter what you look like, who you are. We're all immigrants. This whole country's immigrants. I'm from England, you know, my best friend, he's from Russia. We're all like that. Nobody, you know, we're all from a different place and we all get along. Uh, one more question. Um, so this, so I'm from Highland Park, Illinois. Have you heard about that town? I've heard of Illinois, I don't know about Highland Park. Fair enough. So they were just in the news today because there was a mass shooting at the 4th of July parade mm -hmm. where six people were killed and at least 24 critically injured. And what do I think about it? Yeah, the 4th of July parade. What I think, okay, well, I'll community. touch upon it right now. Yeah. What I think needs to happen is we can't get rid of our guns because we can't trust the government. What we need to do is we need to touch upon the mental state of this country. There's obviously a bad problem with how, you know, there, there's problems. You know, a lot of people are, they're sad. And that's the social media aspect. People look around and they're not happy with they are. We have a mental state that is wrong with this country. That is what's wrong. People are unhappy and that's why they're shooting it up. But if you take rid of our guns, you know what's gonna happen. Look at what's the biggest, what's the biggest uh, shooting that's ever happened? The, the wo wounded knee, what was it? The wounded knee back got in- me. Yeah, yeah, where well, we shot up all the Native Americans. The government came in, shot up over 200 Native Americans. You can't trust the government. If you take away our guns, the government's going to come after us. You love the country, you hate the government. That's is that, what it comes down to. And is to. that the same for automatics? Auto, yeah, of course. Yeah, automatics, I mean, who has an automatic? I mean, no, no mentally state person is going to shoot up anybody. Nobody. It all comes down to being mentally unstable. I'm not going to. If I have a gun, I'm not going to go do that. It's mentally instability. That's what comes down to. Yeah, I think that's No both. mentally stable person's going to do that. But the thing is, if if you have a gun and it comes illegally, that thing will ever, that will always come. I mean, think about it. If you have meth, you have heroin, they still find it, right? Mm -hmm. They still find it. If you outlaw weapons, they're still going to find their way to get weapons, right? So all you're doing is you're going against the people that can legally get them. So now those legally people can't defend themselves against these guys that are going to find a way to get their weapons. I hear you. I appreciate your perspective. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, was this uh, Fox News? No, it's <laughs> not. It's Shout Fred out, uh, Tucker. Uh, what's good, dog? Uh, it's God a, respect. It's a uh, local broadcast called Spread Goodness TV. Okay, well, shout out Spread Goodness. Uh, that's all I got to say. Okay, thank you. Do we have your verbal consent to use uh, what, what you said today on across all platforms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got my verbal consent. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I really do appreciate your perspective. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you. I, mean, I hope I think, you agree. They, well, I don't necessarily agree. Okay, what don't you agree with? Wait, wait, wait. But what I think is really important is that we start listening to each other. Uh, and well, I really me too. appreciate Well, now I'm curious yeah. to hear your standpoint. Okay. Are you, okay. Really, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Let's hear your standpoint. <laughs> well, on which issue? It, I mean, anything you disagree with. How about I take, how, I'll take the one that's most personal for me today, mm -hmm. which is the shooting, right? Because okay. that happened in my hometown yeah, yeah, yeah. where I and grew up. And it's sad and it sucks. Yeah. I so, agree. It, it's super unfortunate. Yeah. 
Yeah. I do. I do. Um, listen, I, I dated a cop. I appreciate, you know, the the Second Amendment, right? It's the Second Amendment that we're talking about. Yeah. Um, I do appreciate that. I don't see a reason why we need automatic rifles. And if that guy didn't have an automatic rifle, he would okay, not have... Okay, what's an automatic rifle? What are you referring to? Well, the people that were in the crowds, um, once you start watching the interviews on mm -hmm. Fox, whatever, whatever you're watching, they'll say that at first, and my sister and my dad and my sister's husband were all watching from the rooftop, so I've heard everything, you know, first first account um, they thought it was fireworks at first because mm -hmm. it was so many like 25 rounds and I, you're and so with that much power behind any rifle you're gonna do massive damage and so my my feeling is okay yes you're you know I think that there's a lot of other things that that you're saying that that create a situation that's horrific like that but if if um, if that if we outlawed automatic rifles, um, I don't think as much damage would have would have happened. Right, right. Well, all I ask is, uh, what's the number one death? I mean, if you come down to firearms, the number one death from firearms is suicide. Right. So, I mean, look into look into statistics. People that are dying from firearms, it's either suicide, or if you want to go past the suicide, it's black on black crime. And that is what it is. You put these guys into the ghetto, that's what's happening, is they're coming down to drugs, or you're going down to suicide. This whole idea of that's going down to mass shootings, or it's bull****. It really is. It's a you know, uniquely it, American it, 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 problem. Do you agree with that? I mean, I mean, yes, but at the same time, look at our country compared to all these other countries. They're running off socialism, and they don't have the same freedom that we have. So, I mean... And I Tell hear you, not. you're making you know, a lot of points I've heard, but going back to the automatic rifle, you like know, if he didn't like, have the automatic rifle or the, po you know, such a powerful rifle. Well, what if, were, what if everybody they was been armed? Able to, what if everyone was armed, then that guy could fight against them and shoot him down right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Like if you outlaw weapons, these guys... There were there were tons like of police it's officers not legal. on hand. That, well, I mean, look at the action that just happened in Texas and you've ate or whatever Evaldi. they yeah exactly they didn't allow their officers to go into there but in this case there were a lot of officers on the street uh -huh. right right there right on the scene. well then why didn't they take action they did but it but not in the 10 seconds that he killed six people six people in 10 seconds yeah. okay well that's new to me i, I yeah. haven't seen it um well how much could he have done if those officers weren't armed they were armed well, if they weren't armed, how many how many oh, people they didn't, could it... they didn't catch him. They, I mean, I don't know. He's still on the run, we think. Really? Okay. As far as when the last time I saw well, the news, he, he was still on the... Well, how did he get away then if he wasn't... He was at a, in a sniper position on top of a roof. Oh, I mean, well, yeah. And well, he, he escaped. Sniper position with an assault rifle, that sounds inaccurate. If you're shooting an assault rifle from, what, how many yards away? 200 yards? You're not shooting an AR from 200 well, yards. It's just a like a second-story building. Yeah, you're not shooting an AR in... Well, do That's you want to watch be the news? Different, yeah, it's got to be a different I'll show rifle. You. Yeah. It's got to be a different rifle. Well, I don't, I don't know. know. They didn't say AR. They said a power, the, um, a rifle with a lot of power behind it. So I don't know. They weren't necessarily announcing yeah, yeah, what yeah. kind of rifle they found. So I don't know. That might be a. Yeah. I don't know I think specifically, it may be but it was definitely rifle. automatic. Right. I mean, I don't know. I'd have to see yeah. the footage, but yeah. I mean. If you're from 200 yards away and you're shooting an AR from that far away, it's yeah, hard. I don't know I don't if they know. were 200. It was straight down. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking about like yards, I, yardage. I just don't know those details. Right, but, right, right. But it definitely did happen. I mean, from, um, from a how do you think story. the country's going right now, though? Like, how do you, you know feel you about how do you feel about the the you know the state of the government right now? You know, can you trust them? If you take away our weapons. How much do you trust them to actually protect us? You take away our weapons, you know, these, these aren't people I mean, to be trusted. You can't trust them. There's been so much history to show There's a lot of people I'm more afraid of, I'll tell you that. Than our own government? Yeah, Are yeah. you kidding me? Look at yeah. all the other countries. They'll kill off their own people. They'll take them over. I mean, <laughs> look what Germany did, you know, with the Nazis. I know, They I were able to, yeah. you know, convince a whole population. You yeah. don't think that could happen right now? I definitely think it could happen, but I don't think under this administration. Our administration is the most corrupt it's ever been in history. Okay. At, 
years, 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 years. Biden doesn't even know what he's talking about. Okay. He's All right, we're getting a little off, off subject, and he's got to go. He's got friends to, 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 par to party with. Um, <laughs> in a yeah. band. His friend is in a band. Uh, so I will end this short, but I really do appreciate your perspective because it is different than mine. Yeah, and that's fine. We yeah, needed, yeah. we needed uh, the, you know, the other right, side of things. Right, right. Well, anyhow. So I really do appreciate it. What's your name again? Cameron. Cameron, I'm Lisa. Lisa, Thank pleasure. you. Pleasure. Pleasure. Next time on Spread Goodness TV. We have to, we have to do something. She said, what can we do? Thousands are dying every day. And he said, we could save one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Help us build our online community. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. like to support our ability to provide uplifting content inspired by members of this community and communities around the world, please consider becoming a sponsor. For more information, email lisa at spreadgoodness.love or visit spreadgoodness.love slash sponsor.